We are trying to call him. Well, the call is not going through. Let me try again. Don't call Mr. Hadi. I will call you. If you call me, it's not going to go through. I have to call you. Unless you called me once before. Or I text you. Let us see. Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend, you are a Muslim? Ah, uh, yes. What does that mean? Okay, uh, first of all, um, I've been watching your, your debates. Okay. For a while, and, but I hope this will be a civil conversation. I don't want it to be like insults. What civil conversation mean? I mean, um, a civil conversation, um, meaning it's uh, respectful. Okay, so I, no can I can I use court. the words the Quran describe us to describe you? Is that okay, or this is not civil? A uh, Muslim yeah. in the Quran. No, 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 no. I'm saying, can I use the same words the Quran describe us as a Christian to describe you? Um, example, I understand. Like I can can I call you Najis? Um, no, that's not. It's not civil, right? So why no. you are asking Christian to be civil when they talk to you, but you don't ask yourself why your God is calling people names and why he is teaching you to be a supremacist? Why you Muslim you think that we are not clean and we are filthy and you allow yourself to recite this verse day and night, say the Christian, the Jews, the Hindus, the Buddhists are nudges. But if I say it to you, it's an insult. But if you say it to me, it is God teaching. It's wonderful. What do you think? Can, can I see the verse? Oh, no problem. I can show you the verse. Go ahead. Let us see. This is the Quran, chapter 9, verse number 28. And I will put it for you on the screen. Is YouTube is open for you? Yes. All right. Just be sure, please, that YouTube is muted. Anyway. Chapter 9? Yeah. Verse. 28. Oh, believers, indeed, the politicians are spiritually impure so that they should not approach the sacred mosque after this year. Hmm. If you fear poverty, Allah will enrich you. Okay. So can I call you Najis? It's okay? I can, I, can I call you filthy, I mean? And you are the one who's asking me to be civil? Yet um, you are following the prophet who is not civil? The one who insult everybody? The one who discriminate them? We are not allowed to enter even cities because we are like dogs. The Prophet, he ordered to kill all the dogs and no dogs are allowed to enter the city of Mecca or Medina. And Christians and Jews and Hindus are the same. And yet you, you, you my friend, see I'm being nice to you, you are asking me to speak to you in a civil way. From which country you are from? I, I prefer not to mention. Okay, no problem. So I just taught you a lesson that if you are a person who like to be civil, don't follow a person whose name is Muhammad, for obviously he is he discrim he discriminate, he insult, uh, he is uh, uh, he is supremacist. So this is my advice to you. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us? Um, maybe, okay, I'm not an expert, but then if I can see this, maybe the verse, the meaning is. Impure, maybe because they haven't uh, embraced Islam. So exactly. So Islam yeah. consider that one who is not a Muslim is filthy. <laughs> That's exactly what we are saying. So they cannot yeah. they cannot enter holy places because they are filthy. And you see the translation saying impure. This is a nice word, but in Arabic najis means filthy, literally filthy. By, by the way, you know what filthy means? You know. 
to feel i mean uh ninjas can be impure also yeah what what, what faith they mean I, look my my english is not really good so maybe you can help me what faith they mean well phil i mean it's better to use impure right? it's, no, no, I'm I, I, need, I need your help. You see, English is not my first language. I speak, you know, you know, like many languages, like I speak like Hassan. Hassan, he speak 70 million languages, but my English is not, I'm not perfect with it yet. So when I say somebody is filthy, you almost time you do evolution, correct? Yes. Okay. Why you do evolution? Um, to wash ourselves. Uh, from spiritual impurity. Okay, how you do that? Um, we wash ourselves with water. Okay, and the purpose is to be what? To be clean, all right? Clean, uh, physically and spiritually. Exactly. So, do you like to jump in a water, have dead dogs in it to do pollution? No, of course not. What about if there is some blood and rags of Muslim well, of woman period? I uh, know, of course. No. And what about there is a garbage in it? No. No. Why no? What is the reason? It's dirty. <laughs> so it's filthy, right? Okay. So how do you explain to me that your prophet he was doing that? Can can I see the is it hadith here? Yeah, this is the hadith. It's not showing. It's going to come. No. Okay. okay, but I think there's an expl explanation on this. The the scholars have mentioned. Oh, you can explain it. You are come on. You know, it's easy. I mean, even well, this one need explanation. Even this one need explanation. There's dogs. There's dead dogs. It's a small body of water, like a jacuzzi. There's dead dogs. There's women blood from period. There's garbage. Even this one need explanation. I mean, I mean, I will read in a book. So you're I a prophet. Because I asked you the same question. You said this is a filthy. I will not do that. But this means your prophet himself is filthy. And yet he called us Najis. How somebody, he jumped in a water in the size of a jacuzzi, have dead dogs, not only one one dog, dead dogs. And women of blood from period rags, many of them. And garbage. And when people, they question him, are you doing that? He said, well, so what? Water is always pure. Nothing make it impure. I have not read um, the discussion of the scholars on this. With well, the scholars, what but, they will say? The scholars, they will say the prophet is amazing. The prophet is wonderful. The prophet is so clean. Yes, and actually, I have a debate once with Muslims, and they made a they made a meeting, five of them, and they made a ref respond refutation to me, and they said yes. The prophet is so clean, and he is so clean to the point he used to clean flea, fleas from his head. I mean, do you see how clean your prophet is? He's full of lies. So the Muslim, they decided to make a meeting, five of them, to refute the Christian prince. And they made a video refutation to the lies of a Christian prince. And in this refutation, they says, yes, the prophet was so clean. And this is get Christian prince a liar busted. He was so clean to the point he cleaned himself from lies. You know what lies is, right? Yes. Those things they grow on your hair, you know, and they watch you what you are doing. There's a there's a lie. She she wrote a book about your prophet, and because she did live in his you know underwear, so she saw everything. She was a real witness. I mean, it's a horrible book. You don't want to read it. So what kind of a prophet? He's full of lies. He jump in water, have dead dogs. Women blood from period. And stinky garbage, and this is what the hadith is saying. It says there are stinking things in it. Stinking, not only garbage, because you know, garbage can be just new, it's not stinking yet. You know what I mean? Do I agree? 
Yes. Um, okay. It says it's stinking. It's not only garbage. It is a stinking garbage. So the 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 smell already is all over. So why your prophet is doing this, my if, friend? If I if I can see, I, I haven't read the explanation, but then I think it was it was a well with that things in it. So it was a past tense. Huh? It was a well. I mean, it was a well with those things in it. My friend, this is, this is not, this is a, they call it well, because it used to be well one day, and now it is just garbage. As you see, this is the city of Mecca, and there's no water there except the Zamzam. And if they have other source of water, they will not throw garbage in it. Those people, they are desperate for water. It's a desert. Nobody would throw garbage in a desert, water, you know. So the reason it's garbage full of garbage, the dogs, because this is a well, it's empty, and there's some... Uh, sewage water coming from the houses in the old days when a woman she washed the, uh, until now in the villages they they uh, they wash dishes behind the door of the house the door of the house will be lower than the rest of the house then the whole water will go in the street and in the street in the side of the wall in the, in the wall there's like a little tunnel for the water to go down to the lower point and obviously the dirty water is going there if um if you're aware about the fake um, regards of water if there's if the water is a lot so that okay well, how much a lot yeah, well, how much a lot you think mm -hmm. so if it is if, if this water is like let us say uh, six meter wide and there's dead dogs and there is garbage and there's women menstruation you would jump in it it's fine for you Reading, I think it's um the water is not stagnant. It's running, running water. Okay, so no, it's not. This is not running water. This is not running water. Uh, Mecca doesn't, does not have a river, my friend. What's running water? And this is Be'er Bida. This the reason they call it Bida because it's a, the the well of garbage. And here it says uh, there's a hadith. It measure even. How big it is? It says here, Abu Dawood said, I measured the the, uh, the breadth of the well, okay, read with me, <laughs> of Bida, with my sheet, which I stretch over it. So he have a sheet, usually he meant the abaya, you know, his dress, uh, uh, over it, and I would, with it I measure it, okay, and with hand, I measure it as six cubit as width, as a breath. And the height of it was lower than the pubic area. And not only that, it says, and the condition of the water color changed. You see it? The, the color. I saw yeah. the color of the water, of the well, had changed. It's ugly. So it's not a running water. It's not even a well of water. This is a sewage. This is dirty water. And it's very small. And as you see, it's very low. It doesn't even touch your, like, to, to your waist, you know. Uh, uh, and it's about six a cubic, according to this guy. And as you see, this is Sahih. How, um, how long is six cubits? Six cubic is like six arms. Smaller than a room, you know, like when you say, if you have a room, uh, uh, a cubic is less than a meter. So if you have a room, like six by six, small room. I mean, this... Um... We can agree and disagree. I mean, like I mentioned, the, I mean, the scholar says the water is running and then... My friend, it my friend is not running. There is no running water in Mecca except the the, the spring of Zamzam. Uh, that is a spring. This is not a well. This is a well. And it's obviously is a dry well. This is why people, they throw garbage in it. Do you agree with me that if you live in the desert, nobody will throw garbage in a water can provide them with drinking water? Do we agree? Nobody would do so, that. If you live in the desert, 
and you have a well of water, do you think people, they will throw garbage in it? No. Okay, so this is because it's dry, and this water may be from rain, when it's rained, maybe from the houses, but it's not rain water, obviously, and that's why people, they throw garbage. Whatever is inside is not valid. And that's why people are asking him, are you doing that? Did you, did you see that the people say, are you doing this? You know, if it was normal, people would not ask, correct? Do we agree? I don't know, but, um, if it was again, normal, it was normal behavior for people to clean themselves from that water, then people, they will not say to him, why are you are doing that? And they explain why. They are saying to him, there's, there's, there's garbage there. There's uh, uh, women, they throw their rags there. Uh, uh, there's dead dogs there, stinking garbage there. How do you do that? So the people are questioning the behavior of your prophet. And as you see, this is Sahih. And then Muhammad, if to explain his very weird behavior, he says, water is always a pure, nothing make it impure. Do you agree with this statement? Uh, the last uh, statement, right? Yes. Um, in general, by um, by default, is yes, but then of course there will be exceptions. What do you mean? But, I don't know. But, yeah, I mean, by default, water is pure and it's not defined by anything. But then there will be. No, an no, exception. it says here, and nothing make it impure. So, but this is weird. That's mean the sewage. Is it pure? Because most of the sewage, by the way, is water, correct? Most yeah, of the, yeah, most of the sewage, maybe 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 85% of the sewage is water, or maybe more. So if the water is always pure, well, that means the sewage is always pure. You know, what, what is the, pee, the piss of a human being? Is water, right? Maybe 99% of it is water, correct? I don't know. What do you mean you know? I mean, what, what is your education? Like me, myself, I have elementary school. What is your education? But, okay, but, uh, regarding this hadith, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's up to the interpretation. I mean, okay, give me the interpretation. No problem. I'm going with you. Go ahead. Give me the interpretation. Like, I'm just saying, I'm listening. Like the scholar says, it's not stagnant. It's, so it's what the scholar says, give me what the scholar says. What is that? The scholar says, the prophet is amazing. The prophet is so good. The prophet is the best. This is what the scholar says. We are asking you, you see people in the time of Muhammad, they ask him the question and Muhammad gave the answer. So we do not need even the scholars. He claimed that water is always pure. Nothing make it impure. And as you see, the water did not even cover the, the private part. It's below the private part of the man. It's very low. So you have a small jacuzzi room and there is dead dogs in it. Not one, not two dogs, dead dogs. We do not know how many, which means they are already pieces. Stinking garbage and women in blood from menstruation racks. What, how in the world anyone would do jump there and he clean himself there? Maybe we can um, discuss on other things. No problem. You see, I will go with you. Okay, guys, if you want to change the topic, I will go. You could tell me another thing. Tell me something good about your prophet. Go ahead. He's the last prophet. Well, that will make him good. I mean, he was chosen. I will explain to me. I will explain to you something. This is personal. I was the last one in my classroom. In like always I get D or F. I am the last one to enter the school. I'm always late. I'm the last one to to the, the, the teacher to talk to me. I'm the last one. The schools, they like me. And this is supposedly make me the good prophet. Hmm. That's interesting. That, that's different. Well, what's different? You must have say he's the last one. What does that mean? No, because Allah cho chose... Uh... Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon Okay, who is Allah and why he <clears throat> chose Muhammad? Why that? I mean. Maybe he chose him because he jumped in dirty water like this? No, he didn't do that. 
What do you mean he don't trust? So why he chose him then? I mean, that is the wisdom of how we, we won't, I mean, scholars... I like the word wisdom, you know, it's, it's very dumb. I'm asking you why Allah, he chose Muhammad. You, you, you failed to give me, you see, I changed the topic just for you. You say to me, Allah, he changed, he, he's the last prophet. What does that mean? This is very silly. Why Allah, he, what, Allah, he stopped, like he became a mute now, he didn't want to send anyone. So Allah was busy sending messengers one after one after one and stop, and suddenly he closed the faucet. Yeah, the Quran is said to be the last testament. Nowhere in the Quran it says Muhammad is the last prophet. And there is. Like, no, the Quran says Khatim un Nabiyin. Khatim does not mean the last prophet. Khatim is the seal of the prophet, right? Seal, yeah, he's sealed. He's sealed, what, which means he agree with them. He agree with them. The seal, you know, you, you would a seal, you know what seal mean? You go to the government. Means you go to the close. government, you go to the government. They put their stamp. That is a seal. Meaning, um, I mean, seal can be a different meaning. Right? It can be the the closing no. prophet. Yeah, the well, no, this is false translation and this is false assumption because the seal is the one who agree with the prophet before him, all of them with no exception. Nowhere it says that Muhammad is the last one. And let us assume it says that. What is the proof even that Muhammad is a prophet anyway? There are uh, some factors. Is what? There are some factors that... Some facts? Is, uh, I mean, the fact, some factors, some points that he is... Like what? I'm listening, my friend. What, like what? Um, like it's mentioned in the Old Testament about the coming of Prophet Muhammad. It's mentioned in the New Testament about the coming of Prophet uh, Muhammad. Old, Old Testament, Old and New. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, where it says um, Prophet Muhammad in the Old Testament or New Testament? Um, I have to look it. Okay, we can go that for that later. So, can you prove to me now? From your religion without going to my book which is doesn't say what you are saying and even your prophet he said that the one who will come his name is Ahmad and the one who will announce him is Isa so if that is exist is going to be only in the New Testament is your prophet name is Ahmad or Muhammad oh, he has different names he why? Has been called different. why how come why? Yeah, why he have many names? I mean, when 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 he was born, his mother she like hang up on the wall like ten thousand names, and he said, "Those are yours." Why he have many names? What does that mean? Called um, like the truthful one, you know, uh -huh. the honest one. Is his name is Muhammad or Ahmad? Is the same meaning? Right? No, Muhammad. Ahmad. Oh. Ahmadullah. I thanks Allah. Muhammad is the praised one. A person can be called um, different names, like even Jesus. Okay, but you see, but many. here, but here, it says that Isa, he said that there's a messenger will come after me. His name is Ahmad, so it's not Muhammad. Ahmad is Muhammad. No, your prophet name is Muhammad. He he's been called different names. He has. Okay, Muhammad. people they can call him, but this is, doesn't mean that he, this is the person. Maybe it's not a different one. His name is Ahmad. This is your prophet. His, his name, the one you use, the Muslim, is, is Muhammad, correct? Do you call him Ahmad or you call him Muhammad? Ahmad? Which one you call? Ahmad or Ahmad? Muhammad. Okay, here it says Ahmad. Okay, now, Isa, he said that he said to the children of Israel, there's a messenger will come after me. His name is Ahmad. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Was Muhammad sent to the children of Israel? For all mankind. Well, the Quran says no. The Quran says Allah He sent Muhammad only to Mecca and what is around it. 
Is that correct? The vessel. Here we go. Your prophet, he was sent to Mecca. And what is around it? Is there, is no ice cream is showing to you? Um, Oh, it is. Don't read now. It's, it's not coming yet. <laughs> Chapter 6, verse number 92. What it says? Which verse? Eh? Chapter six, verse number ninety-two. So this verse says that Allah He sent this book as a warner only for the mother of the cities it doesn't say city actually Qura, it's, it's it's a village which is mecca and what is around it that's it yeah because there's a, another verse that is called to mankind okay so allah he changed his mind you think so the the quran let us go to the different yeah. verse let me show you this one was the quran sent which language which language you speak Sorry, what's that? What is your original language? English. Original language is English. Come on, go on. It's okay. Don't say. It. It's all right. Okay. The Quran says in chapter 14, verse number 4, that Allah never sent a messenger except in the language of his people to make things clear for them. He never sent a messenger. Do you speak Arabic? I can read Arabic. Are you an Arab? No. Do you speak Arabic? Uh, so the Quran is not meant for you? Because Allah, he never sent a messenger except from the people, speaking the tongue of the people, and the Quran is saying why? In order to make it clear for them, makes sense. There's a verse in the Quran, makes sense. Okay. Uh, How Muhammad then, then, chapter 14, verse number 4. So then we need to ask ourselves, How Muhammad is a prophet of God? Sent to all mankind, if Allah never, and he sent this verse in the time of Muhammad, confirming that this is his habit. When Allah wants to send a messenger, he have to send him from the people, speaking the tongue of the people, in order to make it clear. So how Muhammad became, or become the messenger of all nation. Just in here. Hmm. Meaning he mama was uh peace be upon him was sent to the to his people. Hmm. Who is his people? Yes, who is his people? Who is his people? To because Allah chose the Arabs first. Okay. And then so Allah, to... he sent Muhammad to the Arab, but you are not an Arab. Arab first. To no. the Arabs where, first. Where it says then... to the Arab first, it says here, we never send a messenger except to the language, in the language of his people, to make the things clear to them. So, if the book is sent to a different person who don't speak the language, he will not understand the, 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 the message, correct? Why Allah He sent it in the language of the people in order to make it clear? Do we agree? Um, okay, it says here, uh, the first Allah sent down His message to the language of the people from among whom a prophet was raised so that they might 
not have any excuse left that they could not understand the language. Yeah, so? So the message, it will be sent only to people who understand the message, the language, correct? Yeah, it okay. has to be sent to the people first, the Arabs first. No, 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 so nowhere it says first, them. nowhere it says second, don't add things, my friend. You see, you asked me to speak to you in a civil way, so I'm not using Islamic words. So, it says here, we never send a messenger except in the language of his people. So you have to be from the people, and he speak to them in their tongue, which is his tongue, and the message will be in, in their tongue too. So, in order for the message to come to you, Allah have to send a messenger to you, speak in your tongue. That's what the verse is saying. Allah never, never sent any messenger. You see the word never? Never. Yes. Okay. That's mean never happened before and never happened in the time of Muhammad because this is the verse Muhammad received in his time after he became prophet. So we never send the message and we never send the messenger unless he speak the tongue of his people. So if you don't speak the tongue of the people, then he will not be sent to them. So how Muhammad so, uh, became your messenger? I'm reading uh, Ibn Qasir. He says every prophet was sent with the language of his people. So he was sent to his pe people. Hmm. And? And then it was spread to all mankind. Hmm. But that means the Quran cannot be for all mankind because this will be a contradiction. Because the Quran made it clear that it's not going to be clear. You see, the Quran says, in order to make it clear to them, this is why he decided to do it this way, in order to make things clear to them. So if the message will not be in their language, the message will not be clear, and then they will be deceived. Correct? People will be confused. No, no, no. What no, um, no. There's a, another verse in Surah Al-Anbiya, it says Muhammad is sent to all mankind. No problem, I'm, I'm going with you, but the verse here conquer all the other verses because this verse says that the book in order to be clear, it has to be in your language. The Quran says so, not me. In order for a message sent by God, like Allah supposedly, to you, in order to be clear, it has to be in your language. Did you receive the Quran in your language? It's been translated in English. Uh, so Allah, then this, this verse is wrong. Because Allah, he should say, well, it doesn't matter what language it is, because we translated already. We will use uh, Yusuf Ali. Bless him. Uh, Muhammad Biktal, may Allah bless his, uh, you know, nose. So, so the verse in the Quran here is wrong because the translation will do the job. Because um, and let me let me make it let me make it clear for you. When you pray, you pray in which language? Arabic. Arabic. See, so the Quran have to be in Arabic have to stay in Arabic, and you don't know what you are saying, yet you are praying Arabic, but you don't know Arabic, you don't speak Arabic. So the Quran is was given to the Arab, and this is why it have to stay Arabic, because simply this is the Arab prophet for Arab people, the Arab supremacist, and they try to conquer the whole world, forcing everybody to speak Arabic. So in order to understand the Quran, you have to learn Arabic. But even if you learn Arabic, the verse here doesn't help you because it says it clearly that Allah never sent the messenger unless he is from the people, speaking the tongue of the people. So if you are a person who learn Arabic, still you are not from the people. You are not from the Arab. And this is why you have to pray to Allah in Arabic. You know, do, do your God Allah speak languages or only Arabic? Um, all languages. So why you have to speak in Arabic? Why we have to pray in Arabic in a language we don't understand? Because the Quran is saying um, via Arabic. Exactly. So the Quran says, Quran in Arabia. We made it a very clear Arabic. And by the way, the word Arabic, a clear Arabic, that's funny. If the Quran is a clear Arabic, so why we have a thousand interpretation 
and they are disagreeing with each other. You see how clear it is? <laughs> so now I'm, I'm going to go with you more. And uh, you are a nice person. You are welcome. I want you to give me, let us say, me and you, we are in the train together. And you learn that I'm a Christian and you want to convert me to Islam. What you will make me, what will make me accept Muhammad? What do you think? Give me something. No, I will, I will revert, not, not convert. Revert? Yeah. But we don't believe in the same God. We don't believe in Allah. No, because we believe that um, everyone was born as a Muslim. Oh, that is really the most stupid thing ever. Because you are saying to me now that when I was a kid, I was so stupid. And actually, Wait, I agree with you. My mother, she said to me that I used to have a diaper. I could not believe it. Doing poo, -poo in my pant? Unbelievable. Well, I was a Muslim at that time. But I will go with you. So everyone is born as a Muslim. So if you are born as a Muslim and you die as a child, shall you go to heaven? Yes. So why your prophet, he say no. You might go to hell. For children? Yes, for a child, an infant. Remember, he is born as a Muslim, right? So if he dies as a Muslim, the one who born as a Muslim, he dies as a Muslim, well, he will go to heaven, correct? Can I see the, the evidence? And, al and already you agreed. And this is your prophet here. They went to a funeral, him and his wife, Aisha. And, you know, she said, uh, after the funeral, well, there is a happiness for this child. He did not do any evil, and he did not even reach the age of doing wrong or committing sin. Muhammad, he said to her, well, you know what, your adventure, don't be stupid. It might be the other way, which means he might go to hell. So what do you think? Is it this one, the God's messenger was invited? You see, you, you insulted me, and I did not get upset from you. Because you said to me, everyone is born as a Muslim. You just accused me to be stupid. Thank you. You see how nice I am? You accused me to be stupid. A person who believed that there is a God who will make your penis endless. A person who believed there is a God. You pray to him, he will give you a lot of women, and they have no panties. And a lot of boys. You see how big the insult you gave me? But because I'm nice, I forgive you, brother. Mm -hmm. well, I think is this is for um, general, right? It's not speci specific. My friend, what, what general? That. General electric is not there, and it says general. Yeah, a child. I mean, general, a child, a child is a is a baby. He's just born a few months ago, old, maybe a few days old, we don't know. But obviously he is very small, very young. And Ayashi, she said clearly here, he did not reach the age of somebody commits sin. He is very a baby. So she assumed he will go to heaven. Muhammad, he don't agree. He says, how you know? Allah, he created people to go to hell when they are in the backbone of their fathers. So that statement, it will be um, general. It's not on, on the kid that he was referring to. Exactly. General, no problem, including you and me. And I, when I ask you... No, no, no. I mean, huh? Hey, what was <laughs> no, I mean... Um, yeah, yeah, correct. Go ahead or go backward. It says clearly that he did not reach the age of sin. So anyone did not reach the age of sin, is he present this person. Anyone did not commit sin, he present this person. Anyone who is a child is an infant, he present this person. Aisha, she thought he will go to heaven. Muhammad don't agree. Oh, okay. This is a predestination. Exactly. exactly. So Islam is no. stupid. No, yeah. no. Because, because, Allah, Allah because if go. Allah, okay, now you are saying that Allah, he maybe make a destiny for this child, he will go to hell, correct? Yeah. Okay. Predestination, but not because of his. Because of what? Not because of his 
if he is a well he will go to hell no if oh, yeah. he he died as a ch child hmm. he will go to paradise no we are talking about the same person my friend the person here he died already and this is what Aisha she has you assume she said the happiness will be into this child he's happy good for him he will be in heaven Muhammad he says no what's wrong with you it might be the other way which means it might be they go to hell and you are the one who agree this is a predestiny so before Allah created him he decide where he will go it doesn't matter if he commits sin or not correct No, no, if there's no sin, uh, if it's uh, prior to puberty, it is paradise for the child. My friend, it's in the front of you. Ayesha, she said, before she finished her sentence, she said, he will be a bird from the birds of paradise, for it commit no sin, nor has reached the age when one can commit sin. So already this is clear. He is not in that age. What Muhammad said, he said, per adventure, Aisha, which means don't be stupid. This is not, not true. It may be otherwise. So Muhammad already, he knew this person. He was in the funeral. He did not say to her, no, he commits sin. He did not say to her, no, he's old. He agreed about what he said, except about where he will go, heaven or hell. But I believe this is uh, Al Qadr. Exactly. But this doesn't mean Islam is a stupid and Islam is unjust because if the predestiny before I do anything, regardless if I do sin or not, Allah decides where I will go. So, what is religion is about? Already, it's made decision where we will we go before we are born. He will go a child. He did not commit sin. He's born of a Muslim family. And you are the one who said to me, every child is born as a Muslim. So, he's a Muslim. Even he cannot talk. So, why he should go to heaven, uh, so to hell? Does it make sense? Well, Muhammad saying, it's a predestiny and you agreed. So Islam is a stupid religion. So when Allah, he says to you to pray, to worship me, it's just a stupid, it's already predestiny. I have to look at the explanation. Of look at it call. now, look at it, take, here, take your time. What do you mean you have to? You said to me, you watch many of my debates. And now you are saying to me, you have to look. Even this one need to look. What, what will happen? The guy is dead. I will tell you the Muslim answers they said to me. The last Muslim, he asked you this the question. He said, oh, this guy, he will grow later and he might commit sin. I said to him, well, he is dead. What do you mean he will grow later? He said, in the day of judgment, Allah will make him grow. <laughs> what do you think about this answer? That Allah in the day of judgment he will make you grow and then you commit sin. <laughs> hmm. But I, I think I stick to my explanation just now. The, the, you, did, you did not give me explanation. You did nothing. You said to the, me, you said to me, a child he will go to heaven. I she this is what I she said. And this is what Muhammad objection is. He said it no, may be objection is a uh, friend. Did he say it may be otherwise? Did Muhammad say that? Yeah, no, okay. it may be otherwise. Okay. What what otherwise mean? The hell hell, it might go to hell. Because he still let the prayer, right? What let the okay. prayer? I mean the kid is a baby. The kid is a baby and he's dead. That's me. that's it. He cannot commit sin no more. He can't grow to commit sin. So why you will go to hell? Why it may be the otherwise? What is the reason? There's no reason. So if sin is the reason to go to hell, will the verse, the, the story here prove that Islam is a wrong in this? It's a predestiny. It's not really. What you do? Uh, no, the, the, the one that he mentioned is, uh, is a general statement. It's not towards the... General the statement, fact. exactly. But yeah. this is about a baby. Aisha is speaking about individual baby who is not in the age of sin. Aisha, she is not speaking about every Muslim will go to heaven. This is not what she said. She said this baby, because he did not reach the age of sin, and he did not commit sin, well, he will be a bird in heaven. Muhammad disagree.
I I disagree with your explanation. Why? You, in order to disagree, you have to prove me wrong. What do you mean you disagree? I'm not explaining. This is what Aisha is saying. I did not explain. Aisha, she said he did not. Did, did Aisha say the reason she think he is going to be in heaven? She said that, right? She said he will be a bird from birds of paradise. Why? She said the reason for it commit no sin, nor has reached the age of sin. Okay. So now the reason is explained why he should go to heaven. Muhammad, he have objection. He said it might be otherwise. Why? Because God created those for paradise when they are in their father backbone, not lions. Same for hell. So what Muhammad is saying, and you are the one who said that to me. Well, this is a predestination. Thank you very much. So you are the one who come with the word predestination. That before you are created, Allah decides where you will go. No matter what you do, you commit sin or not. I mean, we can we can agree disagree on this. Ah, agree disagree. Do you like hummus? Hummus? Yeah. No. You don't like hummus? I like hummus. So now we can agree and disagree. And my friend, it's a religion. This is not hummus. We are talking about God and salvation and heaven and hell. And you are saying we can agree, disagree. The pro you are the one who said to me the predestination. Which means you agreed with me. You say the predestination. Yeah, the, yeah the, the, the hadith is on predestination. Okay, so the child is ready. Allah, he decides where he will go. It doesn't matter if he, go and, if he is a child or not. He, he might go to hell. We agree. So don't, don't make it hummus. Even though Islam is like a hummus. But it's not tasty. Let me ask you. Adam commits sin. Did he commit sin or Allah forced him to commit sin? Uh, he committed sin. He committed sin. So Allah did not force him. It was not the predestiny, correct? It's still well, it's a trick question. My friend, any question I ask you is a tricky question. Are you sitting? Uh, in the, Adam, are you okay. sitting in the ch on the chair? Uh, no. Okay. Adam committed this, the, the sin, but then Allah knew that he will commit the sin. That's uh, predestination. Well, Allah, uh, this is another question. Did Allah force Adam to commit sin? It was a predestiny, or Adam chose to do sin? No. He. There was a choice. He was a choice. Every one of us. Okay. Let's read together. And now, don't don't make it hummus. Hmm. According to Adam, Allah, he decided that he commit sin, he commit the error he did or the sin he did, long before he created him, 40 years before his creation. What do you think? This is a debate, you know, Adam and the, uh, and the uh, Prophet Moses, they live, they live in the same time, right? Prophet Adam and? And Moses, they live in the same year, together. Prophet Moses? Yeah, and Adam? Uh, which hadith is it? No, no, I'm asking you. Did the Prophet Adam and Prophet Moses live in the same time? Not, not in, on earth. Oh, not on earth. So where does conversation happen? In heaven? Should be. I thought nobody will go to heaven except Jesus, or prophet of God, will be resurrected in the day of judgment, and the first one to be resurrected is Muhammad. That's what Muhammad said. The first one will be resurrected in the day of judgment. It is Muhammad. So how Adam and Moses, they met? Where they met? In paradise. Oh, we just said that the first one will be resurrected is Muhammad in the day of judgment. So all of them are dead. Let it go. Here it says, Adam and Moses, they argue. I hate it when Adam and Moses, they argue. My friend, dishes will be broken. Chairs will be thrown in from the windows. I mean, imagine one is, a, his name is Adam and the other one is a Jew. You don't want to see that. So they start arguing and Moses, he said to him, Oh, Adam. You are our father. Thank God Moses agreed that he's our father. I thought he was going to now to talk about the evolution theory. 
and then who disappointed us and you turned us out of paradise that's what Moses is saying he claimed that Adam is the reason for us to be out of paradise then Adam said to him oh Moses Allah favored you with his iPad I mean he gave him the tablet you know he talked to you directly and he wrote that the tablet for you or and with his own hands do you blame me for an action which Allah had written in my fate 40 years before my creation the mic is yours is um Still Al Qadar. Al Qadar, exactly. So Adam, he did not choose to do sin. You told me that Adam, he have a choice. As you see, Moses, he told Adam, because you, because of you, you idiot, we are out of heaven. Adam says to Moses, you stupid idiot, how it's me you playing when this is a fate written by Allah forty years before my creation, and I have to do it. I have to. Does it say here? had written 40 years before my creation yeah. and I can show you more if you want more clean you know I mean more clear because all Muhammad stories are clear very clear my friend so Muhammad he said it clearly in like in different place he says do you blame me for which Allah he ordained for me ordained you know what ordained yes he planned for me that's it I have to do it so you can't blame me so we can't blame the sin of Adam for to Adam because simply Allah is the one who made it happen, correct? So this, um, this is composition in the judgment day. I don't care oh, when it's happened now. Don't uh, okay, judgment day. So this conversation did not happen, and yet we have it. That's amazing. That's amazing. So the conversation did not happen. The debate did not happen, but it's going to happen in the day of judgment. Well, in the day of judgment, it's too late. I mean, now, secondly, the question is, did Adam commit sin by choice or Allah force him? The hadith says it clearly, Adam is not guilty. Did he say to him, do you blame me? Did he say that to him? Do you blame me? Yeah. Okay, so we can't blame Adam, right? I blame you only if you do it, if you, do the, if you are the one who do the wrong, correct? I will yeah. not... I will not be able to blame you if you did not do anything wrong. It's not your fault, correct? Yeah, this is after everyone has been resurrected. I don't care, my friend. The question is not about later. The question about what Adam did. Wake up with me. Did you eat hummus today? No. Okay. So we are not talking now about later. We are talking about what Adam did. Adam did already a long time ago. You know, like 1973, I think. So Adam commits sin, 1973, and uh, Sheikh Uthman, he was quoting the quotation of Sheikh Omar, uh, Khalifa Omar, which is printed 1998. So obviously we are close. So here you see that Adam, he did not commit sin, and Moses, he lost the debate, even your prophet says. And so Adam, he overcome Moses by this argument. So who is the right? Adam. Who is the wrong? Moses. Do you see it? Yeah, I see. All right. So, my friend, I advise you to leave Islam right now. Because according to Islam, the whole story of Adam committing sin is a stupid story. Adam, he was not guilty. Allah is guilty. Allah is the bad person. Allah, he made us commit sin because he wrote a story. He wants us to do the story. There's a script. And we are actors. We are just reading the script. We are just doing the script. We have no choice. It's a predestiny. And part of the belief in Islam is to believe in predestiny. So, and here, by the way, you Muslim, you say that Moses was a, was a Muslim, but look like Moses, he was a Christian because he believed in the original sin. What Moses was saying to Adam is original sin. No, that's not easy. Yeah, yeah, because Moses, he is arguing with Adam, saying to him, because of you, we are out of heaven. This is what the original sin is. Because of Adam, sin, we are out of heaven and now we are committing sin too 
So this is a proof that Moses are not a Muslim, and the Muslim they lie to themselves when they say so, following Muhammad. And this is a proof that it's the whole uh, sin idea is a is a lie because nobody commits sin, or it was a predestiny. Why I will be punished? Why Allah will throw me from heaven for committing sin I did not choose to do? As you see, it was a destiny. It's a fate. So, so uh, are you saying that uh, because of this hadith, this is original sin, or are you saying? I said, my friend Musa, he is by by accusing Adam, he obviously believed in the original sin. No, this is not. Original Did Moses sin. accuse Adam? Because of you, we are out of paradise, yes or no? But, um, okay. okay. Adam committed the sin, but then Allah forgave him. My friend, why Allah need to forgive him if it was destiny? How stupid is that? I forced the guy to commit sin, and then I will forgive you? You beg me, you say, please, Allah, forgive me, please, Allah, forgive me. But I am the one who made him commit sin. This is not fair. So yeah, I, I make you commit sin, and then I force you to ask me to forgive you, and then I forgive you. But this is even that is a destiny. The forgiveness is destiny. You praying to me is a destiny. You committing sin is a destiny. So the whole story is stupid. But um, but you believe in predestination? No, we don't. No, we don't. We believe in free will. That's why Jesus said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my Father, but the one who do his will. So you have your own will. You have the will of God. If you choose your own will not to follow God, eh, this is your business. You will not enter the kingdom of God. So Islam, there, there is a free choice and I mean free will and no, there no. As you see, I'm showing you now. I just showed you the child he might go to hell. Even did not he commit sin. He did not commit sin yet. And now Adam, he is saying, you cannot blame me for the sin I did. Let me show you one more. And this one will make your religion so soft like hummus. Read with me this hadith and try not to laugh. According to your prophet, in the day, you know, before the day of judgment, you know, or before you die, or almost a person, he is almost, almost going to go to heaven. He pray, he fought, you know, he killed Christians, he killed the Jews, he killed the Hindus. He do all the obliga obliga obligation to be a good Muslim. He lie, he cheat with his wife, perfect Muslim. And then, after all doing those things, and you are almost going to go to heaven, look what will happen. Read with me carefully. What written by Allah to you will overcome the deed you did and you go to hell. And then the one who did the, he the deed of hellfire, what is written by Allah, will take over and he will go to paradise. And the hadith in front of you. Muhammad says, swearing, you know what Muhammad when he swear? No mercy, that's it, it's serious. That's it, Muhammad obviously is not lying. And by Allah, a person among you, or a man, may do the deeds of people of the fire, till there is only a cupid or an arm between him and between fire. You are almost there. And then, what is written, which Allah has ordered Anja to write, between two bracket, proceed. And then he does the deeds of people of paradise. And then he enter it. So the guy, he was doing the deed of hellfire. Then he's almost, almost, almost there. But then he was, he got lucky. When Allah, he created him, he wrote that this person will go to heaven. So now Allah, you know, when like, you do like uh, uh, format your computer, you know, you install a new software. Allah will install a new software. And that will take over. And then you act the act of people of paradise and you go paradise, happy ending. And then he says, and a man, 
may do the deeds of people of paradise till there's only a cupid or two between him and paradise and then that is written what is written proceed and he does the deeds of people of fire and he enter it what do you think so it's not you you do deed of higher fire you do deed of heaven doesn't matter it is what is written will decide where he will go are you going to say now this one this one need interpretation too now are you going to say to me this one is not clear i mean how no. clear we can make it more than this yeah it's clear yeah so islam is stupid do we agree no what do you mean no. you know, what is the point so why you pray to Allah? Because uh, well, me, Christian prince, I am a Christian prince, I am the enemy of Allah. According to this hadith, I might go to heaven. Why? Because maybe Allah, when he created me, he wrote that Christian prince will go to heaven. So I after know, all see. of me fighting Allah, then what is written by Allah will take over. It's what it says. It's in front of your eyes. Where is justice? Because at the end of the day, it's not what you do. It's what Allah de decide. It's not just, it's not, it's not the deed you do will decide where you will go, heaven or hell. It is what is written. This is what the hadith is saying. I mean, we strive our best to be. My friend, don't change topic. What strive our best? As you see, you strive, you don't. Who cares? Because what's written by Allah will take over. I mean, for how long you will keep denying it? It's in the front of you. You know, I am assuming that you are a nice person and you are coming from a good family and you are honest. So please, can you be honest with me? Does it say and clear in front of you? It doesn't matter really what you did you do. It's what Allah, he wrote for you. It's boring. You have to um, do good deeds and... My, my friend, what you do good deeds? Look at this guy. He did the deed of people of paradise until he is almost in the door. There's a distance of one cubit or two between him and the door of paradise. He's almost there. And then what is written by Allah will take over. Do you see it? I know, I know. Okay, do you? I know, I know, I know. You keep repeating yourself. So this is stupid because the guy, he did the deed of paradise. Why Allah, he is overwriting... His destiny, why he is it why he is making him go to hell? I mean, this is not fair. The guy he spent his life doing the deed of paradise, he's almost there. And then just because Allah he wrote destiny, he will go to hell, he'll go to hell. So it's not your destiny written, it's not what you do beside your destiny. It's what Allah he wrote for you. It doesn't matter what you do. Is that, that that's why uh we must always uh make dua. My friend, what do I, uh, my friend, wake up, wake up, wake up. Are you asleep? It says here, this guy, he spent his life doing the deeds of paradise. And almost he is in the door. Do you see? It says a cupid or two. Which means he can see the door of paradise. It's there. The guy is almost there. And then what is written will switch that 180 degree. And then you say to me, we do supplication. What supplication? It's, it's written. Supplication I, is supplication is part of the deeds. Priority yeah, is part I, I of the deeds. An example, um, maybe he, he did good deeds, but then at the end of his life, he did shirk. My so friend, my I, friend, this is the most stupid answer. I don't, I'm not insulting you. It says here, he is almost in the door of paradise. So he commit shirk and he is going in the right direction. If you commit shirk, you are not going close to the, you, you are not doing good deeds, obviously. Shirk, the, shirk, shirk is the worst sin you do according to Islam, right? So don't tell me this. It says here, a man of you might do the deeds of the people of paradise. And what is the deed of people of paradise? To believe in Allah, to believe in Muhammad, to do pray, to do Hajj, to, to pay zakat, to kill the Christian, to kill the Jews, to hate everybody except the Muslims. This is the deed of paradise. And then what's written by Allah will take over. No, it's the, it's the end of his life that he committed. Okay, sure. my friend. Take care, take care. Okay. Yeah. What I can do. That's it, guys. The end of his life, commit sure. Hummus. Hummus, hummus. And people, they say to me, Christian Prince, you need to be patient. Hummus, hummus.
By the way, if you like, uh, you can subscribe uh, to our uh, uh, Truth channel. Uh, this is the website of Trump. If you are if you are a person who lives in the state and maybe Canada, I'm not sure. You can for a state for sure you can join. It's called truthsocial.com, and you will see the address in the screen. And I want you people to do me a favor. Don't text me and say it to me, can I talk to you? Uh, especially in the private. If you are a Christian and you want to talk to me, spe specifically if you are a female, you text me to call me if we say Christian can call and live on air. Anything else, I will block you. Are we clear? I hope so. So if you are living in the state and you like to join us in the website there, as you see the address, truthsocial.com slash at Christian Prince. This is an account I just created. So in the future, if something happens, something you wanna, you know, like we lost our channel, as you see, they are harassing us. Uh, this is just additional way to get updated about where a Christian prince to be found. All right. Uh, try to do chat with Jordan Patterson. I'm not interested. I don't think that he is uh, qualified to chat with me. What, what is special about this guy? If he is a smart, he will not even accept to join a conversation with someone like Mimi Hijab. What was the point of him joining Mimi Hijab except giving more publicity to the Muslims? Did he answer anything? Did he teach anything? Did he say anything useful? Those dummies is the one who made Islam famous. If you are not going to expose the cult of Islam, so what the purpose of your conversation with a Muslim, and you know that he is using him for the publicity? Why he accept? Did he debate him? Did he prove him wrong? Did he say something serious? So what is the point of this conversation? It was stupid. To tell him the truth? He did not. Did he tell him the truth? Well, show me one thing he said. He's against Islam. He did not say anything. He was just sitting there like a mule. If you are not expert in the topic, then don't put your nose in it until you learn, and then you talk about it. Otherwise, you are just an idiot. All those people who invite Muslims to be in their channels to have a conversation about Islam and they do not know what Islam is about, they are giving the hand to the Muslims to be popular and to spread Islam because it is one way lie and there's nobody doing fact check. You will see a, a, a priest, he invite a Muslim sheikh to teach your children how to pray to Allah in the church today. Those are the evil ones in the churches. And did you ask yourself why Mimi Hijab want to have such a meeting with this person, not with me? They line up to speak to the specific ones or they will help them to get publicity. And this is the whole point. They will use you. They knew that there's no harm can come from your side. Like when this uh, Mimi Hijab, he got uh, Borat, you know, this Borat, this idiot. And we have them in the, in the intro, right? Why he got Borat? He got Borat because simply he wanted to use him to fight Christianity. And at the same time, publicity. But with Borat, even though Borat is a stupid, it did not go well. 
Burat, he said that even the Messiah is not the Messiah, so Muhammad is a liar. Burat, he says Jesus was crucified, so Muhammad is a liar. So even when they invited Borat, they invited him. I mean, this guy is an atheist. This is how low they are. They go to the point they are asking atheists to fight against people of Jesus. Can you believe it? This book was from other than God. They would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we... See? And then this guy, he said to him, the Messiah, he, th he thought he is the Messiah. He thought, he thought he is not the Messiah. He said that in front of him. Did even make me hijab there to say to him, what are you talking about? He is the Messiah. The prophet says so. He was sitting like a puppy. You think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense right. that he was specially chosen by God. I think So Jesus was killed. He was crucified. He was really dead and buried is what he said. And he thought he is a son of God. So all the teaching of Islam is a lie. So they brought this guy to spread lies about Christianity. But even the foolish, they needed their help. He turned the table against them. So, uh, why you don't contact George Jordan Peterson to educate him about Islam? I do not need to contact him. And I do not need to do a respectful thing. You guys are very silly. Who is this guy anyway? Why is he so important for you? If he is smart, he should not even go to an Islamic channel or speak about something he do not know. Why you, why you people are like praising him for what, for what exactly? What he, who is he? People are really mentally ill. This, they worship celebrity. They worship, if somebody have a, a millions of subscribers, they worship him. But the guy is an idiot. He did not say one useful sentence about Islam. So if he is a smart and he's not an idiot, why he go in a channel? Everybody knows what this channel is about. Giving them publicity. If he is not going to get it busted, if he is not going to give even a view of anything, and this is our problem, the problem we have today. We have a lot of idiots. They claim to be expert. And then the Muslim, they use them. Who cares about this guy? Who is this guy anyway? <laughs> and if you do not know anything about Islam, why he's talking about Islam? And then, he, you know, it's, it's embarrassment. He sounds like this guy who called me a second ago. Uh, anyway, people, they worship famous people. I don't know why even he is famous. I was listening, I did not even see a smart person talking. Anyway, people worshippers. Uh, I have a story to tell you. Okay, let's see this person. Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Speaker, I'm, I'm fine, my friend. Speaker. Go ahead. So you you Can said you, you said you used to be a Muslim. No, well, I was. I didn't really worship God in a way. You but, know. But um, did you become a Muslim, convert to Islam? What is the story? You said no. you have a story. Yes, I have a story. Um, I was never Muslim. My family grew up as Jehovah's Witness. All right. Do you like me and, to put your camera on the screen or you don't want your camera to show because uh, your camera is on? Oh, sorry. No, no okay. camera. Okay, turn it off then, please. Uh, hold on, let me see how to do that. Just a click and the camera sign is going to go. Okay, go ahead. Good? All right, cool. Yeah, so so my name is Lee. You All know, right. and 
I'm from New York. Okay. So, uh, how, how to start this? I was living like a, a good life, you know. My parents grew up Jehovah's Witness. All right. And um, I didn't really believe in it, you know, because uh, when it comes to like the memorial, what they call it, hmm. you know, it's like uh, when you take the bread and the wine. Okay. When you go in the Jehovah's Witness area in the Kingdom Hall, right. you just look at it, you don't take part in it. So, with me, that didn't really sit well. <laughs> so when I grew up, like I was like around 17, 18, I was like, you know what? I'm done with this. So my mom, my sisters, you know, they stopped talking to me. You know, they moved away to Connecticut while I was still living in Brooklyn, New York. Right. And I was living alone. I was homeless for a while. And um, it just, I feel bad talking about it because I feel like I'm betraying my mom, but I know it's not the truth, so. But, um, so I got into a little bit of trouble, you know, I did some things and I ended up in jail in Rikers Island for a while. And, um, there I met, you know, I was surprised at how many Muslims were in jail. Yeah. You know, it was, it was like so many, you know, it was about like 80% were Muslim. The rest were either they call themselves Catholic or Christian or they didn't have no religion. They just put no denomination on the on their checker box whatever All right. so <laughs> so uh how can i put this um i did my thing you know i'm in jail now i'm waiting to get bail my bail was $150,000 my mom she was trying to get the money she was trying to sell her house to get the money and put up like a what is it called um a percentage down to get me out but that took a while. So I was sitting there for about like six, seven, eight months. And all the time I'm seeing Muslims and I'm in this dormitory because in Rutgers, they have dormitories. They have cells, but most of it is dormitory when they have about like 50 or 60 people and there's just like different beds next to each other. So I'm in one of these beds and the rest is just people are Muslim. So I'm like, why is there so many Muslim here? And I see how they run the prison system. And the way that they run the prison system is with, you know, they come together, they pray. They even asked me once if I wanted to pray with them. I was like, oh, sure. You know, I, I didn't know what it was. You know, it, it looked at, it looked at pretty good. You know, see how like they had like a zeal for God, the way that they bow down, they, the way that they, you know, kiss the floor or whatnot. They put a carpet, they wash their hands mm -hmm. and things like that. So I'm like, oh, all right, this is, this is pretty cool. You know, so I call my sister, you know, and ask her, hey, um, can you go get me one of these, uh, these hats? I think they call them a kufi or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. So she got me the hat. So I'm wearing jail and now, you know, I was a skinny guy back then, you know, I was probably like 130 pounds and people, they used to like pick on me and things like that in jail. So once I get that and I'm walking around and they see that, you know, I'm with these guys, all that stopped, mm -hmm. all, all the intimidation things stopped. So I'm like, all right, this, this is all right. But I see how the Muslims were treating the other people that was in the ones that wasn't called Muslims. So what they used to do is when it comes to chow time and lunchtime, uh, they would, you know, say, all right, um, Muslims first, and they'll have the food and they'll call it halal or something like that. And they will pick the best pieces of chicken or whatever it was, and they'll give it to, you know, the Muslims first and whatever was left, you know, that's where the Christian or Catholic or whoever, they'll go and line up for their food. And whatever food that was left over, you know, the Muslim, they'll bring it back to the dorm and then they'll, you know, have like a midnight snack or whatever. They had all the privileges. That's what I'm saying. And why, so, why the, the rest, they don't complain? I mean, what kind of authority? Why do well, they tell uh, their lawyers, tell the people what kind of jail this jail is if the one who is controlling the jail is not even Muslims? I mean, the police and etc. Why in the world they allow the Muslim to control it? Well, here's the thing. You know, um, from the East Coast in New York, it's where people say that you don't want to be a snitch. So you be quiet if you're not quiet. You know, mm. they'll, they'll drag you to the bathroom, into the shower, and then they'll beat you up. Mm. You know, so that was the thing. It was intimidation that you're going to be, they're going to call you a snake or a rat or a snitch. 
So people didn't people didn't say anything as long as they're eating and plus you know people had money to buy food from the commentary and things like that. It, it was all right, but it I seen what how it was two different things. They would talk about God and the way that they pray and things of like that, but the attitudes and the action were different. So there was this one time I used my bunk used to be next to this Haitian guy and next to his bunk was a Muslim guy and this was a very big strong mus muscle man you know Muslim guy and the guy the Haitian guy he was in jail for murder mm -hmm. and he was telling me you know this was uh what year this was 2000 and going to 2006 I got arrested in May 2005 going to 2006 and it was New Year's and we're celebrating the New Year's and the guy, he was crying. He was like, I, I, I can't believe how, how I got myself into this, you know? And this was like around 12 o'clock and after, you know, the ball drop or whatever. So we're talking and he's crying and the Muslim guy, you know, he was like, you know what? Um, I'm getting out in a few months. Uh, you know what? Um, give me $25,000 and when I get out, let me know who this person is and I'll go and take care of them. So, and, and I'm listening to this and I when I know what he meant when he said, I'm gonna go take care of them, mm -hmm. which means he's going to go and kill this person, the, the witness. So I'm like, whoa, this, this is the same guy that pray over the, over the meat at lunchtime. And he, he pray and he talked about this and how God is good. And, and he talked about, he's going to go and, you know, do um, a murder for for hire. I'm like, I'm like, no, man, it, this is not right. I didn't say anything because, it, you know, who am I to say anything? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, wow. So the guy was like, um, you know what? I'll I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. But I'm happy now that I know that it didn't happen because he the 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 Muslim guy got into a fight. He tried to steal somebody's uh, tobacco in the in the dormitory and then the the corrections officers seen them and they you know packed them up and stripped them out of the, that room so they didn't have any more contact but um from there i got bail. my mother she finally sold her house and she got me the money to get out you know and from there i was like you know what this thing about muslims it just didn't sit well with me like you know I, it just didn't this is not god like like why would god would want somebody to do murder, you know, and this is the person that prays every day. Yeah, they use Those even kind of... they use even the jail system, even though they are criminals, they try to use their religion as a gang system to intimidate and at the same time to make you join them. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So so I can see why, you know, they were saying to be part of them because they wanted the numbers. They wanted to take over. They wanted to have right. things in their way in that dorm where I was at. Yeah. So, you know, I'm happy that my mother, she got, she made the bail, got me out. And, um, and I hope now you are, you are, you are straight. You are not doing anything wrong. So, you know, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm totally straight. You know, I'm a, that's, I'm a that's good, my friend, because you know what? You, you need to remember how much your mother, she love you yep. because she did, as you said, she sold her house. Yep. Right. I mean, this is a yep. great sacrifice. And I hope that you will buy her a house, you know, yeah. and you will take care of her for what she did to you. Absolutely. The, the great, the greatest thing is about that, you know, um, I became a Christian. I got baptized, you know, I met my wife. We have beautiful children now, you know, I'm successful. I'm Wonderful. a plumber. Wonderful. And, and the crazy thing is I was, uh, something happened on the news and it had to do something with Muslims. And I was typing YouTube, you know, false prophet, Islam, and then you came up. And this was about like, maybe like two years ago. And from then I couldn't stop watching the videos and learning about it. And I work in Harlem, New York. And this is where like they have, the, it's almost like a Mecca where they have, you know, Islam and Muslims and, and mosque everywhere. So I'm there at the job site, I'm talking to people, you know, I'm talking to Muslims and I'm showing them, you know, how you're teaching. I'm taking notes and I'm doing so many things to show them. And, you know, a lot of people are saying, yeah, but this, but that. And the biggest thing where 
what they can't give an answer is Jesus. Like, um, how did Jesus die when the Quran said that he didn't die? And it's a big contradiction from the Bible to the Quran, and they can't explain that, you know? And from there, I was like, you know what? This, this is just one big, it's, 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 it's a scam. Exactly, you know, it is. Scam. It is. They use the names. You see, it's like Jehovah's Witnesses. They use yeah. the they use the Bible. They change just a few letters, a few words, but they change yeah. the whole belief. You know, so Islam is the same. In order to be approved, in order to, if I want to come to your house and I'm a thief, and I want to get in your house without making myself breaking a window, so what I will yeah. do, I will wear a uniform of um, the cable company. I knock at the door, and even I will hang a badge. And I would say, I'm from the cable company, you know, we are installing new cable, you know, the top of grade. You open the door for them, they get in, and this is exactly what Islam is. Muhammad, he needed a uniform. And the uniform is Abraham. Yes. Jesus, Moses, you know, this is a uniform. The same one he spoke to the Sabian. With the Sabian, he's a Sabian. With the Christian, he's a Christian. With the Jews, he's a Jew. With the, with the, with the pagan Arab, he's a pagan <laughs> Arab like them. You know? Yeah. So he's a scam, and that's what, what scam do. They don't have an opinion. They don't have a color. They don't have, uh, uh, like, what do you like? Do you like to wear a, a blue suit or white suit? If you are, he, he's not sure what you like, you know, to, he will say to you, mm, but if he feel like you like the blue suit, he will say blue suit, you know? Yeah, <laughs> so he, exactly. he, he tried to find out what is, what is your opinion so he can come with you. And this is what the Muslim even say. They say the prophet in the beginning, he was, he did compromise. So he did forbid the alcohol step by step. He did uh, this and this and step by step. What is step by step? You know, God uh, for, forbid adultery. How you allow adultery? Even this one needs step by step. He come with the muta. So he is yeah. a hypocrite. He is a false man. And when he, when he is around with the Arab who do fornication all over, he said to them, do muta. They like to drink. He said, okay, but don't uh, go to the mosque when you are drunk. Because people are making fun of us. This will happen. He never mentioned it. And even the people, they go naked around the Kaaba. He never made a verse in the Quran. Saying, it, it's funny, stop going it's naked. Funny you say that. It's funny you say that, CP, because um, I have a neighbor. And he's a Muslim. He's he, he's a great guy. He's a very hardworking guy. You know, he's a Muslim. And I remember last summer that I'm outside and I'm redoing my pavers. And so... You know, I came out with some few drinks. It made me a bear, so I came out with a bear. And I was like, hey, you know, here, you know, have one. It's hot outside. He was like, oh, no, I, I can't drink. You know, I'm, I'm a Muslim. That's the first time I, I realized he was a Muslim. He never, I don't see him go anywhere, things like that. I just know he's just a nice, hardworking business mm -hmm. owner. So when he denied, you know, the bear said, you know, he's a Muslim. I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, I'm like, huh. I have, a, I have a neighbor that's a Muslim. I'm like, all right, hmm. <laughs> you know? So his yeah, but son, you know, but the no, funny no, is no. they don't drink alcohol yeah. now, and they're having is, is a, have rivers of alcohol. Hold on, hold on. Let, let me let, let me tell you the hmm. the punchline to this. So his son got married about you know uh, like nine months ago. So I was invited to the to the wedding, okay. and when I got there, it, 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 it was alcohol flow for everybody. He was drinking, <laughs> everybody was drinking, and that was just so contradictory like i was like, like you know I, I love him as a neighbor but i'm like how can this be a religion where people actually take it seriously thinking that they're gonna go to heaven believing in this and the father was there the father was drinking father had me a whiskey yes he was drinking or not he was drink. yes Every, so why he said to you, why he said to you i don't drink i i have no idea that's why <laughs> hypocrite, you know, like hypocrite. He was, it was the moment, moment yeah. of hypocrisy but in the when he went to the to the party, he forgot what he told you before. Anyway, my yeah. friend, I'm happy to have you and thank you for calling us. And we are glad for you that you are out of jail and now you have a good life with your family. We yes. pray for them. We pray for your children. We pray for your mother. And we we say thank you uh, for such a woman, such a lady. So she saved her son from bad future. You know, yes. all of us we do wrong sometime, but the best of us is the one who fight his wrong. And he repent, and he do the right thing, and he stand up and he walk again. All of us, we might fail, but the bad is, is to fail and to stay down there, you know? Otherwise, yep. all of us, we do wrong. All of us, we commit sin. No one is perfect. But the glory to the Lord, 
he gave you a hand and you have an experience which is going to help you in the future so you will not be deceived by someone like your neighbor all right yeah thank you my friend God thank bless you so you. much CP. take care thank you take care bye uh you know you hear stories every day and uh, you learn life is a school you know life is a school there's a there's a school you go to and there's a school that come to you that is life you know this is why we say there are some people they grow old and they get wiser but not everybody get older and get wiser some people they get be a teenage when they get old um is somebody saying he want to talk to me one to one i don't know what does that mean he means you want to go live if you cannot talk live my friend i cannot talk to you and if you are a female and you want to contact me to speak live you are welcome but if you want to talk to me one to one private no as you see, even males, I'm not talking to them, you know, they want to call me. If you have a secret you cannot share, then what the point? If you are a Muslim, and you are afraid to announce yourself, then I will talk to you in private. Like I did with many people. Because then I understand the person here have reason. Any other one when I call? Well, I think we have enough for today. I hope you guys, you have a good time. And as you see the Muslims, uh, you know, you notice that the first Muslim was a pure liar, fabricator. The second one, he is a nice person, but he played dumb. Like each time the, the question became so embarrassing, what he played, he played a fool. Like I did not know. It's a new trick, they play it from time to time in order to avoid answering something embarrassing. All right? Uh, just to remind you, in the screen you see, I have a new uh, account. This is a, trip, a Trump website. In case you do not know Trump, he have now his own social media. And uh, it's called the, uh, truthsocial.com. And this is my address there. You can search me and you can join me. And if you don't live in the state, well, don't worry about it. But at least, you know, it's just a way of communication. In case we lost communication somehow, as you know, they are harassing us. You know, Facebook against us, Twitter against us, YouTube against us. So there, at least those who they are in the state, they can go and check with the Christian prince where he is now, and they can spread the news. It's just a way of communication, if you care. All right? So, and the link is down in the info. You can join us. And actually, I think uh, for some reason, the number of people who they are joining is increasing fast. And I thought that uh, Trump, uh, this Trump website will not be really too much uh, uh, popular by now, you know, but look like it is. Uh, let me see now. Yeah, I, I mean, I just made an account and there's uh, 44 uh, uh, people they follow. Very good. And not many people knows about it yet. And we will use it like a, like a Twitter, you know, post, we will go live, etc. We will start posting or verses from the Quran or from the Bible or, you know. And I don't know if you can post the video there. I don't think so. Can you? Uh, let's see. I'm looking right there now. I don't see anywhere it says you can uh, post a video. No. It says... Uh, extend this post, copy this post, mute conversation, mute, I don't know what does that mean. Here it says media, maybe here in the media we can load some videos. Let us check out. Uh, it says no media, so I am assuming there is a way to upload something. Hmm. I need to figure it out. You know, I did not, uh, I just made the account there. And we need to figure it out. And likes. Okay. Alert. I have 15 alert.
All right. Very good. It's just a way of communication. And, and by the way, those who ask me about this uh, person, his name Patterson, I'm not against him. You know, I mean, maybe the guy is an even very good guy. I don't know. But what makes me upset of people is if you cannot go and do damage to a cult, then why you accept their invitation? Are you a fool? Are you trying to promote them? If now somebody is from Jehovah's Witnesses and he called me, I'm not going to do interview with him. Otherwise, I'm promoting Jehovah's Witnesses. If he says something, I'm going to get him busted. So if I give him the microphone and he starts making lies and lies and lies and Christian princes stay silence, that means he agree. He didn't have objection. So what's the point of this uh, meeting, so-called meeting or so-called interview? What exactly we accomplished? If I'm going to call uh, uh, a Muslim call me now, and he can say all the lies, and I say I refute none. So what's the point of allowing the Muslim to speak to thousands of Christians, lying to them? If I don't expose their lies, that means I'm promoting Islam. Okay, my friend, maybe you can, uh, you know, check it out. I, I, because I believe before I, I checked the Trump website and it was not really open for people to register, but this is new. So I registered. Let us see in the future. I, I think they will open it for everybody and we will see. Uh, they mentioned someone from the Quran. They say, peace be upon him. Well, you know, in the Quran, there is nowhere it says, peace be upon him, about Muhammad. The Quran says, Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Salla mean pray. Salla mean pray, not peace. Uh, but because it's an embarrassment to say that Allah he ordered them to pray on Muhammad. If you remember the, the funny debate between Mimi Hijab and David Wood, Mimi Hijab he said to David Wood, this is why it says pray for, not to. Pray for, not to. So it's pray. So Allah, he pray for Muhammad. <laughs> um, anyway, I think we have enough for today. And we did not get any call from the Christians, even though we, I said, if you are a Christian, you can call except one person only. The last uh, gentleman, he called us. Looks like people don't like the idea, maybe. Uh, but we gave them opportunity. So don't tell me that I did not allow Christian to call. I allow, and we will do that maybe once every Friday, every week, once Christians and Muslims can call. All right. So I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you soon again, uh, we pray to the Lord to open the eyes and the heart of people to help them and to use each one of us to be a way to deliver the truth. And the truth will set you free, as the Lord He said. And the Lord, he made it so clear. He said, I am the truth. And then a Muhammad, and he says to you, where Jesus says, I'm God, worship me. He said, I am the truth. I am the life. I am the resurrection. I am who I am. He forgives sin. He promised salvation. He is the living God. And yet the Muhammad, and they say to us, where Jesus, he says, I am God, worship me. Even the Mohammedan who called us today, he asked us to read the verses would prove that Jesus was racist, according to him, and he commits sin. When we go there and we read, we will see that the woman there, she was worshiping Jesus. And Jesus, he said the great things about this woman. And not only that, the command of Jesus, the command, not the wish, it had to happen immediately. And her daughter was healed. That is my Lord, my friend. 
is not the Lord of Muhammad who say to him, may your God forgive your sin. My Lord, he says, go and your sin is forgiven. And because talk is cheap, Jesus did not say cheap talk. He said to him, carry your bed and walk. Which one is easier to do? To say to him, your sin is forgiven, or to say to him, carry your bed and walk? That is Jesus. Islam is talk. Jesus is the living God. He do what he say, and he say what he do. And they will see you again. May the Lord bless you all. Christ is Lord. Islam is a scam. And Islam without lies dies, and we prove it every day. Take care. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him.